First thing to do is remove the wheels from your bike. Then you can take your two millimeter hex wrench and undo the small little grub screw located on the pad holder. You can now go to push the brake pad friction material out of the brake pad holders to save damage in your thumbs, put the cloth over your hands and then push them backwards out of the way. Then you can take your new brake pads, but you need to take note of any writing and text on the brake pads to tell you which way faces forward and which side is the left and the right. That way, any little cutouts on the back of the brake pad will line up with a little grub screw on the pad holder to make sure everything is held securely in place. With the brake pads sat correctly in the holders, everything is ready to go back together. Take your small little grub screws, put them back in. Refit the wheels. You also need to make sure that the brake pads aren't rubbing on the wheel when it's turning. And when you apply the brake, check that the brake pad is hitting the correct area on the wheel rim, nice and straight and square. 